Right, so today we're playing XL for Armor 3, so this mod has actually been out in pre-release for quite a while now, but uh, not too long ago it was publicly released, and uh, since then CG has come out with their Trinaris version. Normally it's on Altis, which is an okay map, but it's just kinda a tad bit too big, so we're playing on Trinaris right now. The beautiful Trinarisian landscape, but it's uh, sort of raining right now, it's kinda cloudy, but very ominous I guess. Yeah, what is XL? So, I guess to summarize this, uh, it seems to be pretty similar to uh, Epoch for A3. So, you got your base building, you got your trader zones. i um, been told that there was missions on a few maps also. I'm not entirely sure as to whether or not there's missions on this map. I see special operations right here, but not sure whether or not that's a trader. But I've been told that there was missions on other servers, so that's a thing. Yeah, the story sort of is that you're a prisoner in exile, so I get this orange jumpsuit, which I'm sort of aiming to get rid of pretty soon. But you pick a spawn zone, and then you pair drop in. So I pick Baloda. You come in here with your orange jumpsuit and your parachute, and when you do that, you're in a Bambi state. Which means that anybody that shoots you in that state will get actually uh, penalized for it, so they'll lose respect. And uh, you're in that Bambi state for a few minutes. After you pick up a weapon or you wait those uh, few minutes, you will exit that Bambi state and people will actually gain respect for killing you. Yeah. So far, it just seems like a whale polished version of Epoch. So you can already see that in the uh, bottom right and bottom left corner with the UI. If you press 4 on your keyboard, no shift H. You just have to press 4. It holds as your weapon. 5, you already got your earplugs with a nice professional looking symbol. 6 will bring up your tablet, which is the XM8. It's got its own OS, so you can see your health right here. Pop tabs, which is the currency. Respect, which I'm not 100% sure what that will actually do, but uh, if you kill people, you get respect. Territory, bounties, and clan, that stuff will get later implemented, but you can assume that bounties you can place on people you uh, dislike. Territories, you can probably, if you form a clan, take over parts of the map and claim that as your territory. We can already form a party, so shortly I will be playing with Wolf and Vizuki. We will probably form our own party. And uh, sort of more explored is mod. So I have seen some of the base building. It doesn't really seem to be overly complicated. You just grab an axe, uh, you start chopping at a tree, you gather some wood, you build a workbench, and off of that you uh, build your walls and uh, foundation and everything. So maybe in the later few parts I will actually try my hand at base building as well, finally, on Armor 3. Build our own cabin and whatnot, but yeah, so far this mod just looks very promising, and I'm playing on the terrain I like as well. I mean, Altis is good for our man style gameplay, but uh, kind of the slower gameplay is just a tad bit too big, so Chinaris is good, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try and earn some Pop Tarts and uh, see where now we can get into some shootouts, maybe. Maybe even raid some bases if they're uh, already built on this map. We'll see. But I will try and get rid of this orange jumpsuit as soon as I can, because uh, it kind of makes you stick out. But the story as to how I got this MX is actually pretty interesting. I was on the airstrip, and there was this guy with the MX standing right next to a flipped over bike, and uh, he just asked me whether or not I wanted it, and then he gave it to me. So that was pretty nice, but yeah. And I watch out for other people, because I'm assuming that most people won't be as nice as that guy. Just handing out weapons for no good reason. But... I'm gonna recheck Baloda, see whether or not you can find some loot there. But I got rid of my orange jumpsuit, so I got this thing, which is a tad bit more camouflaged. Also, it kind of looks like I'm black, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Anyways, doesn't matter, but yeah, loot spawns a tad bit more organically than it does in uh, A3 Epoch. Like it actually spawns loosely on the floor instead of in these weird boxes that uh, Epoch seems to have for whatever reason, so... And it's already a lot better. It seems a lot more similar to uh, A2. There was a motorcycle riding around here not too long ago. Just kind of check my corners here. Well, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> Apparently I'm still good at quickscoping this game, but yeah, I sort of died. I went to Cherno to go look for some food. Didn't find any. All I found was some people held up in the church, which wouldn't have been so bad, but one of them had a high caliber sniper rifle, and kinda managed to shoot me through the wooden door with that thing. 
So that is actually a thing you have to keep in mind in Arma 3. There is functional bullet penetration, and it can be quite dangerous for you. But nothing much is last. Uh, I'm going to head out west and meet up with Fazuki and Wolf, and uh, maybe together we'll have more firepower. Or at least that was uh, the idea. But yeah, after I meet up with them, we're going to go check out the Kameka Trader to see what the trading zones are all about on this, and... Uh, Maybe after that we'll meet up with this guy called Greg Snow, uh, he's got a group on this and the base, so we can see what the base building is all about. So I guess we got things to do. Okay, there's another guy right there. And we get more respect. Kinda almost feels like Call of Duty actually. <laughs> the 100 points. So this chest rig is level two. Right. So the like, DLC ones must be level like four or something. Stupid. GA carrier rig. What, right. what does the level mean then? It's a uh, quality. Yeah, level two carrier rig green. Armor 30. It's actually really low on the armor. Wolf, do you copy? 10 4. I'm wounded. 10, Ten four. 4, over. Okay. 10 4. Holy shit, there's a fish on land. <laughs> Look at the fish. Can you see that? Yeah, they come out of the water. It's <laughs> weird. Where? Where's the fish? Their this... servers, their client sites are. Anyways, I've met up with Wolf and Bazooki, so we're in a group together now, which means that we can see each other with these uh, nice hexagons. We can also use group chat, which is kind of redundant at this point because we're in TS, but uh, if you meet a random person in game, I suppose it's pretty useful. Still a pretty bad codec, but it's doable. But. Yeah, we're going to be running to Kamenka. It is looking like a Trader Dome on Chernaris, which might be a CG thing. I do think on the Altus version of this, uh, the Trader Zone is built into the Airstrip Terminal, so it actually looks pretty nice. Not sure about this one. I think this might seriously just be the uh, standard A3 overpack uh, Trader Bubble, as I'll call them. We're going over there to see what that is all about. Um, I think in this money is automatically stored on a bank, your pop tarts. I reckon that these traders are just brought over from Overpock. They're not I the so, yeah. they're not the animated ones. Wait, were they animated on Altus? Yeah. On the original the proper XR mod they're animated. Like what do they wave around? What do they do? Yeah, uh, they move their gun around. They one of the vehicle guy is underneath a car fixing a car. Yeah, this is uh, weird. They do move around though. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, they're animated, but they're not as good as the other Derpy ones. Derpy as crap. Plus, they're not facing the right way. They're all facing the wrong way. But if you click on that little gun thing at the top, it will give you all the stuff available only for your gun. Wait, what? You see where it says all, next to it is a gun, click that. I'm not seeing this, uh, armory, all? Yeah, oh. armory, and to the right is a little gun and a pistol. You click those and it only give you stuff that's available for your gear. Wow. That is, that is just nifty. Like, it seems this just, like this map looked at EPAC and everything that it did wrong and it just made it better. Yeah, exactly, like polished it all off. Yeah, just click on the thing and it'll bring up a preview of it. Well. Wolf, the fucking food yeah. you pointed out for me is raw cat food. <laughs> Can you eat it? Yeah. See, so this tab right here is probably pretty important. Uh, you can buy different kinds of vests and it'll actually tell you what the armor rating is. So this press vest right here won't actually help you at all, apparently. These ones are cheap and they're 20, then it uh, moves up to the more expensive ones, which actually have a 100% armor rating, like this one. So you can be a fatty, I guess, and uh, be bullet resistant. So that's something. Wolf actually bought one, but apparently he doesn't have any money to buy an actual weapon at this point, so. I mean, that's sort of funny. But yeah, I guess we're gonna go out. We don't actually have money to buy a car, so that is sort of an issue right now. I guess we might have to try and steal a car. Or just borrow it, but we'll see. We actually got an axe, so we might be able to check out uh, some base building on our own. I think we should be able to build a shack, maybe. 
Not sure about the plot pool system in this actually, but we'll figure it out. I've been told that you actually need to purchase territory and it's like a plot pool in order to build a base upon that, so I guess that base building is gonna be a no go because we definitely don't have 5,000 pop darts at this point. We might have to do some loot runs in order to uh, be able to afford that. But we're gonna run out now and see what happens. Wolf's gonna run up front. He doesn't have a weapon, but I guess he's our uh, bullet shield slash bait because that's pretty much all he's good for at this point. We may have to try and find him a weapon, but we will figure that out. There's a guy in town. Is there? Alright, good day. Orange jumpsuit. He's just standing still, though. A Bambi. Alright, so we go up and shoot him. He shouldn't be a Bambi, though, because it's. No, he'll be not. He just ran up here, then. By the looks of it. Where is he? Directions, if boss. If you look down to the right of the supermarket. There's quite a lot to the right of the supermarket. How close to the supermarket? Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's on the road. There we go. Right. He's I think he's blocked by trees for me. He's at the near, you know, the houses? Yeah. Going up right. He's uh, just at the green one behind it. There he's uh, in the field. Is he running? On the other side of the fence. Yeah, he's moving. Where to? He's at the low fence, the low wood fence up the road. Just leaving the fence. Uh, lay down, I think. No, he's inside the wooden cabin. Right, I'm charging up. The brown wood cabin. Okay. What the fuck? Do you not see him? He's inside. No. You know the one with the 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 one beside the green. After crashing, he's found a compass in this. Come on, this is the time to use that compass. Forty-five. He just ran out. Yeah. Okay, I think he's, he's still going back up. towards town. See him? I'm not sure By the power lines now. Oh wait, he's got he's an not. axe. He's dangerous. Sure. There's a guy in a shop. There's a guy in a shop. Looks armed. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Where is he running to? He's on the road. Go here. Yeah, he's northeast. He's heading towards you. You want to shoot the orange guy and then turn to the other one? I'd rather shoot the guy that's coming towards me first. He's coming towards you, Bart. He's coming yeah, he's towards, coming you. towards you. I don't see him right now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, he's, you see the... He's at that wood log cabin yeah, yeah, yeah. down the road right from you, you towards the supermarket. He's behind the fence somewhere. Orange guy's going in towards town. There he is. He's just... Right, he's going to loot. I'm going to push up a bit more. Orange guy's going into supermarket. Do you want to cover the door, Bart, and I'll push up? What door are we talking about? Of that log cabin just down on the road from you. See you mean the, the yellow road? one? No. no, no, the wood one. The partially wood. yellow the one. The one you can go inside. Yeah, okay. No, up that. He's out now, he's Closer out. to you from there. There he is, out. He's just getting jumping going the... into the little... He's out on the little wood fence. He's coming up towards you now on your right-hand side. See him in the open field? field. Oh. Power lines now. Pushing a wet, I'm gonna come up behind him. He's gonna check that house now. No. Killed there him. There you go, you got him. Orange Let's guy. Shift attention to orange. I don't see orange guy. He was in the shop last I seen. He was in the shop last time I saw him, yeah. Can I come down and grab his gun? Or right, grab his gun quickly off his body, because before he respawns. I don't see orange guy. And I picked up his Gilly suit. You gonna put it on? Shots? I'm getting shots at. Shots. Where the fuck is that from? Behind me? Behind me? The tree line? He's I south? It's southeast? Tree line. I do hear that. I don't know where it's from. Was the thing the body despawned by the way? Where are you coming from, Wolf? That's fine. I don't know, it was further near the power lines, I think. I think it was near the power lines. I can't tell. You cannot tell with armor 3, just. But he's not shooting at me now, so he's definitely south. Definitely south? Okay. Definitely south, southeast sort of way. I think he's near the power lines. I don't know which one of the triangles. Yeah, yeah, he's near the power lines uh, behind that uh, stone wall. Alright, okay. He's in the orange okay. jumpsuit though, so he should stick out. So it's the same guy, okay. Alright, he only knows I'm here, I think he knows you guys are there. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, push up to that, if you can. I've got no cover to move up to that. That sounds awesome. I missed him. He's moving across to you. 
See, that was some unfortunate grenade launcher ranging there. If I uh, had ranged it a tad bit better, I should have been able to kill him there. I do think that was within the arm range of the rifle grenades, but... Yeah, he killed me. I do think I hit him there, though. Like, I thought I killed him, but then I just fell over. But yeah, he picked up my weapon, then managed to shoot Wolf, despite the fact that he was wearing body armor. Then also picked up my weapon, and picked up Wolf's body armor. Uh, Fuzuki shot at him a bunch, but he didn't die. And then Fuzuki sort of died of dehydration. So overall, that could have gotten a tad bit better. Probably a lot better, but... We're recuperating, I guess. I don't know, I didn't really lose all that much because everything I owned, I just pretty much picked up. I didn't buy expensive body armor, so... I'm pretty good, but yeah, I'm gonna try and find another weapon. And then hopefully this time use it effectively. Is it car? Shit. Can you hear that? Yes, I can. Oh shit, it's right there. Did you just crash? I don't know. Where he's is just it? hitting a rock, I think. On the road. Yeah, he's just got out. Where is he running to? He's dead. Oh, that's good. And I'll flank around red. The bad news is low. probably that we uh, won't have a card at red. Still. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just broke it. I'm going to check this spawn. Yeah, the wheel's uh, sort of broken, unfortunately. Chain is my, you actually have the running hop, which is very nice. You can do that if you get a primary out, so you can actually hop over a fence instead of having to go through the fault animation. One thing I had noticed, though, that I don't like, um, when you get shot, you get knocked out. I'm not sure how you can actually get revived. You may need a special tool, because it doesn't seem to be able to uh, revive you if you don't have anything on you. We tried that before, but... As soon as you respawn, your body disappears. So if somebody shoots you and you respawn immediately, they won't be able to actually loot your body, which is uh, kind of a bummer. When you do shoot somebody that's geared, you might not even be able to loot him. The guy's out of bomb. Can't the woods one? cabin. Let's just leave him alone. Oh, I see him. Unless he picks up again. Oh, I don't know if there's... Seen me. No, he hasn't. Okay. He's back on his bike coming up the road. Just leave him alone. Oh, yeah, he's on arm at the moment. As long as he doesn't try and jack our car. <laughs> he just shit himself. <laughs> he's come back <laughs> down the hill. Um, should we try and get out of here before we get shot by that high kill? I don't want to get Feel it. Uh, actually, there is. He... Yeah, they're... Hold on. Yeah, yeah. you're the only one who can get it because of the space. What? Gun, Rahim? Should I take it? I don't know. I don't have a backpack. Where's the bag? No, take that gun. Right? I, okay, but I don't have any space for ammo. But I'll take the canister out of here and then put your bag because we ain't got enough room to yeah, take I it. I can only take three mags at most. There is only three mags. No, I can only. I've got one loaded and two in my inventory. There's a fourth mag. Red, I refueled. Banana it's a bit battered, so don't crash it. I'll try. I find it wedged in between a wall and a hard place. 